steps, what I Rolling. Hey, thank you for joining me today on Mimi's Sweet and Savory. I was going to say the sugar geek show. Ah! Working up a sweat. One, two, three. Hey, thank. Mm -hmm. Let's look here. Hey, thank you for joining me today. Hey, Huckleberry. What up, Moonbeam? Not Moonbeam. Well, Moonbeam's all right. It's supposed to be Honeysuckle. Honey there you go. Look at Better get the picture of the lake. I got it. So, like, when we're going, when we get to where we're going, can we hold hands and skip together down the road? Sure. Yeah. Okay, and, like... When I meet somebody, can I pretend I have a different accent too? I don't know about that. Come on. I want to change accents throughout the day. You go right ahead. I can? Oh, thanks. Gosh, he's awesome. <laughs> All right, now, I just have to tell you a simple story that just might, I don't know, maybe be hilarious. <laughs> anyway, um, we just walked into this little store and I decided to have an accent, yes, while he did not. Doesn't he look interested? Oh, it's not Kito. So anyway, I walked into the store and I had an accent like this and I asked the lady for what I wanted and I was uh, noticing that she was kind of looking at me a little bit and and my almost deaf husband did not notice that I had an accent when I was talking to her the whole time. So he acted perfectly normal, just like me. and. At the end of the thing, I was thinking, well, maybe she might ask me where I was from. So I thought, I should tell her I'm from Oregon. She never asked. And I thought if she asked me about an accent, then uh, I would just say, I don't have an accent. You have an accent. So this is what my husband gets to put up with. Old Huckleberry. <laughs> Pray for him.